This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today's subject is going to be realism. Realism, even though today I'm not going to be working from a photo, so I'm just going to be playing with the paint today, and see what happens. But realism, there's all these isms in art, right? Impressionism, cubism, surrealism. Expressionism. What are all these isms and what is realism? Well, I'm probably not going to talk about realism in, in, in the way that it maybe gets talked about. Don't really even, wouldn't even know how to begin that conversation, but it seems like it's more interesting to me how I come about <laughs> the topic for the day. So the way this topic came about, I suppose it started with something that went on with Marianne and I yesterday. And we were having lunch together, dinner together, and well, some current event topic probably came up. The topic's really not that important. Where I ended up with it probably is far more important than the, the conversation that kind of turned into an argument. And really the argument was just, you know, having two ideas we were trying to share with each other that wasn't really getting across. So I was digging in, trying to make my point about it. Getting her to understand what I was trying to say and I would say something and she would, you know, have kind of a an idea in her mind about what I was saying and I could just tell that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I went into the living room and sat for a little bit and just was just kind of feeling into everything and and this thought come to me and I thought, well, this is the point that I'm trying to make. But when I said it, it really didn't come out as a point. It actually came out as me talking about how I felt, really. I said something to the effect of I'm not, probably not going to remember it because it was in the moment, but essentially I was saying, you know, it's so important to me in my life, for me, to feel like I'm living authentically, being who I am. And I've experienced in my attempt to find out what is true for me, what's authentic for me. I've found a lot of cultural conditioning in my beliefs. And I probably wasn't as sophisticated as I'm talking about it now, but 
what I was saying is I just I have a deep tr deep distrust in cultural conditioning because I've attempted to follow it, buy into it, and I found that it really hasn't always gotten me to feeling like I'm being true to who I am. I'm not even sure I know that <laughs> question a lot of times. Who am I? And I said to her, you know, I just think I'm projecting that onto the conversation. That's really what I want. I want to <coughs> live authentically. I have this deep, deep distrust in cultural conditioning. And anyway, that it just sort of ended there. I wasn't really expecting to say that. I was kind of expecting to make another point. But what was funny is after that, a little, you know, she went into the bathroom and she came out just a, a little bit later and she was bringing up an article she read about a movie that we both enjoyed that was kind of criticizing the movie. And then I felt myself kind of bracing myself to dig in for another argument. And then as she was talking about this article, I realized she was making the point that I was trying to make. <laughs> I said, that's exactly what I was trying to... So she actually, you know, I expressed how I really felt what was really causing my delusion of, you know, getting into this argument with her. And and then it seemed like it was just a few minutes later, she kind of brought up something that kind of got to more of the truth of where she was coming from. And anyways, well, <laughs> what does all this have to do with realism? Well, I guess, you know, when I was younger, I when I did my art, I, I liked to sculpt a lot, playing with clay, and I'd make these fun things, or I'd do some cool things in the sandbox, and, but I noticed as I got older, I had this ability to to do photorealism and and I got approval for it. Well, let's see, let's kind of, I'm not sure where I'm going with this painting here. Let's kind of see what I can do to let's do the scraping thing here. See the underpainting kind of popping through there? I, I did this morning. So, I found myself in a world of being able to do photorealism and ended up painting billboards where photorealism was really part of the job. That's how I got the job, you know. But behind that, it's taken me years to really see this.
behind a lot of my realism that I've done over the years has been a big part of it. It was just about people pleasing. Not necessarily what I felt deep inside that I wanted to create. Even though I enjoy realism, there was something missing in it for me. And I think I got thinking about this because I just finished a commission painting and the customer called last night to share how much she genuinely enjoys the painting. It's just perfect for their home and and he's just blown away by it and all that good stuff that just makes you go, oh, thank goodness. And so much of creating art for me has had to do with people pleasing, but that doesn't necessarily serve me or whoever I'm doing the art for, which I'm always doing it for myself, even if I'm doing a commission, right? Finding a place within that's just where it comes from, that's true for me that's that's the most important thing because that's not there kind of imprisons the other person to to an illusion and I would even venture to say that maybe it would be better to call photorealism illusionism I know there's actually an ism about optical illusionism. I don't know what the what that kind of art is called, but if there's actually an ism about it. But really, when you're doing photorealism, you're basically creating an illusion. You're not, but you're never going to be able to get to that place where. The other person is seeing things the same way you are, but I think realism is probably trying to fulfill that desire that we all have. We're all wanting to connect, right? And that's where the people-pleasing probably comes from. It's this desire to connect, and realism seems to be a way we... Because it looks just like a photo, right? It looks just like the thing. But it doesn't really get to the reality that's going on within the other person necessarily. I think the connection comes from a deeper place. And I think that place is just being true to ourselves. What's true for you? So there's my bell. Here's my conversation about realism. See what you can find. I'm still not sure I, I know the complete answer of who I am, but when I feel, feel it, it seems to be there. So see if you could tap into the authentic you. See what comes out in your art. And get out your brushes. We'll see you tomorrow.